Wolverhampton, here we go. The following is a lightweight contest scheduled for three three-minute rounds and is brought to you by AC Electrical. It is time to meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner with an impressive record of six wins and no defeats, representing 12-gauge MMA, it's Farouk Aligatchev. And introducing his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of seven wins and one defeat, representing Trojan Free Fighters, it's Mass Viglak. Here we go, Brad. A fight I'm really looking forward to in the lightweight division. Farouk Alagiev from 12 Gauge MMA, 1 0, the red corner, the camo trunks. He's taking on Trojan Free Fighters, Matt Biglack, 3 0. This is going to be a war. Yeah, pick of the amateurs here. Alagiev in the camo. Figlak in the checkerboard, black and white. Both these guys coming from very well-respected camp, Steve. Absolutely. Both of them bringing an undefeated record into the cage as well. Great control with that half Nelson there. <laughs> that was that was mint by Alec Jeff. And now he lands some shots. Well, Steve, we were talking earlier, and, and we talked about the, the resemblance to uh, a certain Mr. Habib Namagomedov. And he fights like him too. Absolutely, in on the clinch, nice and dirty, making Viglak work, but Viglak, no, no pushover. The, the Team Trojan, Paul Sutherland student, not gonna be taken down at will. Seven and one versus six and oh. Holy moly, Brad. Yeah, certainly the pick of the amateur fights in my book here tonight. Ali Gadjev looking for that takedown, doggedly chasing it, looking to get the back here. Can he roll his man and come out on top? He can't. He can't. No, Figlak caught inside the guard, though. But looking to pass. Someone's cut here as well, Steve. It's probably not too bad by the looks of things, but there is some blood on the leg of Aligajev. Figlak now looking to stay heavy, land some shots. You know, historically, Steve, if there's been one place that wrestlers have struggled, it's off their back in these situations, of course. We're talking about the modern era of mixed martial arts and coming out of 12 gauge, you've got to think that uh, Ali Gadjev's going to have something off his back as well. But Figlak staying very heavy on top here and keeping those fists working. Yeah, it's great, great positioning from Figlak. Every chance he gets, he stuffs Ali Gadjev's head up against the cage and then lands some shots. He's also listening incredibly well to his corner. When they're telling, bi telling him bicep, bicep control, he immediately takes it, and that's opening up the opportunity to land some shots. And it is Figlag that's cut above the left eye. Oh, oh, oh he the got thrown up. it up. Ali Gadjev looking to see. And he's got the in. arm as well. Switching to the armbar. Oh. This is very close, Steve. It's difficult to see how tight that arm, or indeed the triangle is. Yeah, I'm struggling to see him and Figlag working hard to. Figlag's out here. And Ali Gadjev looking to come out on top in this scramble. Fantastic. A re reverse of positions now. And Farouk landing some telling shots from the top here. Big right hands. Figlak taking shots here, but he's still moving. Yeah, he's, he's staying alive. Constantly trying to scramble and get away, but Farouk is just being relentless. Referee looking very closely with us. Man, what a great round. Great first round. Steve, we said this might just be the pick of our amateur contest here at Golden Ticket Fight Promotion 7, and it's certainly living up to billing thus far. Absolutely. Both fighters with moments of dominance in this. Figlak coming back into the second half of the fight. Oh, I'm looking forward to the second round, Brad. You know, we wondered what Ali Gachev might have off his back, and he showed us a beautiful triangle, a transition to an armbar, and perhaps not for the cage being where it was, we may have seen the finish there. All credit to Figlak though, he toughed it out, he was able to get out and survive the round. 
Took some big shots in the closing few seconds. And Cutman just treating Figlak as coach. The UK MMA legend Paul Sutherland giving instructions there. First ever Cage Warriors lightweight world champion, Mr. Sutherland. We get ready to start the second round, and uh, I gotta tell you, I got down goosebumpy. I'm looking forward to this. Figlak straight out into the middle of the cage. Yeah, he perhaps knows that he's got a bit of ground to make up now, not wanting to waste any time. <laughs> Ali Gadjev falling a little bit short with that overhand, but barreling his man into the cage. You think the overhand was the setup for the clinch there? Maybe. Could have been. Again, this busy grinding wrestling oh, beautiful style. Beautiful wizard there from Figlak. Nice. Figlak on top now. Let's see what the Trojan man can do. Got to be very careful throwing those knees in. Transitions now to the side. And to the back with the hooks. Now he's going to look as he's looking to straighten him out. Nice punches from Figlak going under the armpit as well. Referee taking a close look at these. Rolls him now. Precarious position here. Both hooks in from Figlak. Ali Gadjev's got to fight the hands here. One arm under the throat. There's there two. Rear naked chokes in. I think it's in. There's the big squeeze. And he's gone. It's, over. it's technical submission from Matt Figlak. After being in some uncomfortable positions in the first round, taking some damage, he comes back and turns out the lights. What a performance from Matt Figlak. We talked about how close that triangle armbar looked in the first. Figlak with the rear naked choke in the second. Adikachev does not tap, right. goes to sleep. Out on his shield. What a performance from both guys. What an entertaining two round amateur scrap there. Hey, we said this would be the pick of the amateurs. It has been so far. I'm sure we've got plenty more to come, though, at GTFP7. OK, ladies and gentlemen, would you please show your appreciation for both men in the cage this evening? And so this bout reaches its conclusion. One minute and ten seconds into round number two. For your winner, via rear naked choke, in the blue corner, Matt Figlak! And your appreciation, Far Farouk Ali Gadjev. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Matt Figlak. Matt, I have to ask you first of all, that first round he threw up a triangle armbar. How tight was that? Were you in trouble at any point? I mean, it was pretty tight, but there was no fucking way I was going to tap to that. I mean, I came in here, this, I mean, he missed weight. I still let him fight. I just wanted to take him out, really, to be honest. There seemed to be a big momentum shift going into that second round. What advice did your corner team give you? They say to stay calm. And I could just see the guy was gassing anyway, so I knew I had him. All they do, all of them, as soon as they stand with me, they just don't want it. They start shooting, everyone. They just don't want any of these hands. That's what it is. Well, it was a fantastic performance capped off by a great submission. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Matt Figlag.